thanks for coming back with us on Atlantic Journal. I feel like this next intro is going to date me a little bit, but you know, I grew up in Newfoundland and I did the George Street thing and I saw lots of bands and lots of clubs and that's really cool and all, but sometimes it's nice to be able to sit down and really see and hear the talent. And that's what Robert Campbell and Kaylin Green of Roca Music are offering you. Anymore, I've given up trying. <laughs> Roca Music is our house concert space and we have this room here which seats about 70, 70 plus people. If, uh, we haven't tested that limit yet but we have, uh, we're hosting house concerts, workshops and it's all about bringing music and people together and, 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 and presenting some entertainment and a fun and intimate atmosphere. I've been a musician all my life. I play piano and, and keyboards and stuff. And over the years, I ended up uh, working on all aspects of the business, media and management and touring and whatever. And ended up running a festival for a number of years, a pretty successful festival out in BC, uh, Jazz and Blues Festival. And then ended up for a couple of years running an art center, doing the theater direction at an art center. So got into the idea of presenting, and uh, as that wrapped up, we heard about house concerts, I guess about seven or eight years ago, and we ended up hosting house concerts at our place, trying it out, and we ended up doing, I, I, back in BC, we did about 10 or 12 or whatever, and they're really good, a lot of fun and successful. We had some songwriting workshops, we're songwriters. When we knew we wanted to uh, convert this space into a music venue, destination type space, we wanted to decorate it in a way that it would be memorable and it would be fun and it would be whimsical and, and, uh, and, and feel like something unique and different that you can come and relax in and have fun in. Well, uh, as you can already, you've already seen with, in Robert's clips, the uh, gutted piano. Uh, Robert found a hundred year old piano that was not restorable on Kijiji for free. And um, I took it apart and made a wonderful writing desk out of the cabinet. And uh, we used uh, the insides as wall decorations. Um, we also have you know the carpet and the curtains and whatever so it feels a little bit like a living room we can actually put a sofa here even if it you know to really make it look more homey and comfy but um uh we also had a lot of fun on the on the back walls with um uh, uh discarded wood and and old windows and we made it look like um like you're in a courtyard like you're outside we're inside here we're outside over there uh in a courtyard there's a tree in the corner and uh uh, we just had a lot of fun with it. It's it's unique. It's different. It's fun. It's fun to look at. It makes you feel like you're in in a maybe in a in a European uh, courtyard somewhere. But at the same time, it also looks like a formal uh, space. There's 50 of these very comfortable cushion seated banquet chairs here, um, and just just setting those up in here makes it into a more formal concert space, which is what we wanted. We didn't want it to be a house party. It's not a house party. It's, it is all about uh, really appreciating the music and the interaction between the musician and the artist. So, so even just having these, these chairs set up like this makes it feel a lot more formal. And, and people understand when they come down here, it's, it, it, it's, um, it's a concert. You listen, you sit and you listen and you appreciate the music. We made sure that the surfaces, uh, we're not going to bounce the sound around too much. We wanted the sound to be the important part of this, you know, because we've all been into a bar or a place where the sound is just so terrible and the, you can't, you can't get past that to appreciate the music. And we want to appreciate the music. So the, we chose the flooring. It's cork flooring. It doesn't bounce the sound as much as a wood floor, for example. Um, the, there's, there's sound paneling all over the place to absorb sound and, and not have it bounce all over the place. And, uh, and even just the cushion uh, chairs makes a difference in putting the carpet down. So we were, we, all, our con all our decisions were very conscious about the, the, the quality of sound. Why go to a house concert as opposed to a pub or a, a, a concert hall? Because of the direct intimate connection. Seriously, it's, it's the single biggest thing that people notice. And, and they get to come 
relaxed and in their, you know, people come in their blue jeans and t-shirt kind of thing. I mean, we're not dressing up for the, for the opera here. And uh, they're bringing their favorite wine or their, or their, you know, cranberry juice and soda or whatever. And they're, and they're making a donation direct to the artist. And they're getting the, the, the music directly, which, um, which is a, it's a subtle thing that you can't really quantify and say, well, this is why. But it's, it's just a different experience, and it's an experience that you, you just do not get in a bar or in a concert hall. And then you get to shake hands and be hanging out with the artist afterwards, and, and artists engage and answer questions. And, and it's a much more relaxed uh, presentation as well. Uh, you'll see people singing along, and you'll see you know people. The artists will will get people singing and and doing the thing and playing rhythms and being part of the show. And not that they don't do that in other spaces, but it's just a little different here. Well, in the past, uh, we've like um, we've had like Juno award-winning artists, you know, in the um, and uh, I guess who did we start with? Uh, Sherry Elric, and uh, uh, she's a well-known singer from out west, a friend of ours. And we've had Ivan Boudreaux, who's from Yarmouth, but lives in BC, and he's a friend of ours. And uh, we've had Ian Sherwood and Coco Love Alcorn, who are great. Had uh, Aaron Costello, who's a, a well-known local. And um, we had uh, John Campbell John and Stan Carew. And uh, Tom Swift is doing a guitar workshop. He's going to do slide and finger picking guitar stuff tonight, today, this afternoon, and then a concert tonight. Uh, tomorrow we've got uh, Brandon Miller Davis, who's a young fella, 18, uh, doing a CD release here, and we're going to have uh, him and four other artists playing tomorrow night for their CD release party. That's Roca Music, R O C A M U S I C, Roca Music.ca. And uh, we have a full listing of what's coming up. We're, we're trying to really engage the community, bring people in, do workshops, host local and national and international musicians, and be a small cog in the wheel here of. Of, of presenting some good entertainment and, and education and, and interconnectedness, I wish they, uh, connecting musicians and, and the public to, to each other. This is such a cool place. It's seriously just right in their house. And right after we finished shooting, Tom Swift showed up for his guitar workshop. No big deal. They have some really awesome shows lined up, so check out their website, rocamusic.ca, to see what you can make it out to. And now.